watching Metallica Mania, and I'm back with another video. Another Tales of the Blind Buys video. Um, the second one in the series. It's a long time ago when I did the first one, but I found another uh, mysterious album that I thought I'd check out. Um, first, it was a first listen. Uh, I don't know how to say this band's name, actually. I don't know how to say it. You can see it by the title. Um, what I think of this album overall is it's something that I like. It's something that I, I would, I listen to a lot. I would listen to. Water bottle. Uh, sometimes I have things in the camera shot. It's okay, but this al this album has it's like the vocals are like Marduk, for example, the weird crackling in the vocals. It's and the guitars sound like something like Shooter, and uh, has that. It's a re it has a really good guitar tone to it. It's not it's not like. Uh, so it has been uh, the the last one that I did for this. It had the weird uh, buzz to it. This this one has it's mostly a clean production, primitive sounding black metal record. My favorite track is probably the fourth track or the seventh track. So it's an overall good listen. It's really fun to listen to uh, albums that I find that I don't know what they are. It's fun to do that. I've always done that, but never made a series out of it, but I'm making a series out of it now. Um, I'll go probably back and re-listen to, uh, re to some that I uh, picked up that I didn't know at the time, and maybe give my second opinion about them. Yeah, so it overall sounds like good black metal. Good black metal is really hard to come by. There's a lot of uh, black metal bands that just aren't that good. I've Some of the old bands are not that good either. Some of the original bands from the black metal scene aren't that good. Um, I would say that, that these guys are actually really good, in my opinion. This album is good. I'm not gonna get. I don't give numbers anymore. I don't give numbers for albums without like a uh, without being a new record. If it's a new record, I'll give it a number. But if it's an old one, it's kind of like okay, it's already out. It's already out. People have already listened to it. Why give it a number? So I'm just gonna say that I think this album is fantastic and is worth a listen and worth picking up if you see it at a record store. I've looked it up. This one's hard to come by. This album is pretty hard to come by. So that's a short little video about uh, the al this album that I found. It has those books. The uh, like it goes from this lower, like quieter, like blasting, and then hooks real fast and goes to another. I really like that one. That, uh, it's like. It's like Immortals 2009 album. They do that a lot on that record. So, that's a... Oh, and uh, Necrophobic also does that a lot. So, the, these guys kind of have that going for them as well with this album. So, that's what I think of this album. Hope you guys liked it. It's a four-minute video. It's a short video for you guys. I haven't been in the swing of things, but... That's where I'm going to end the video. If you guys liked it, follow, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.